Greetings everyone, I am glad to have your attention. My name is Red Maze and Idol Showdown has just released a new debut trailer for the next upcoming character, Pekora, who's coming very soon on the 11th of August. So, just like before, I want to see how well we can predict her moveset and character kit just from the debut trailer alone, and any out the details that we come across. And let me tell you right now, there is plenty. So let's take a look, shall we? Before we begin, let me get two quick tidbits out of the way. Firstly, this is purely speculation, and I'm happy to be wrong in anything and everything if that's the case. I can only guess and go off my own knowledge of both the current version of Idol Showdown and FGs in general. And secondly, the fighting game glossary by info is your friend for any FG terms that I will be using in this video. If you need more context, please do check it out. So right from the very beginning, we're shown a fun little introduction piece of a newsreel of a crime scene with an unconscious Fubuki and an unusually happy Korone with the report brought to you by the Ozora police. As the description of the suspect is given, a bomb is thrown in, exploding to show us the war criminal herself, Usara Pekora. Immediately after the portrait art, we have our first combo, which looks to be a simple light medium heavy into EX, maybe looking a little something like this, which ends with a launcher for potentially more hits and setups. Next, we see a bit of an air combo, looking maybe something like this, with Pekora seemingly getting a little more airtime with either her rocket launcher blast or possibly the bomb throw, having an extra jumping arc when inputted, as you can see here for a brief moment. Furthermore, Pekora recovers upon landing back on the ground where we see her walk forward slightly before Ayama airtacks backwards, which might suggest a corner loop or at least a slight combo extension. For our next combo, we see Pekora set up for Oki with EX projectiles, maybe looking something like this. But not before she does this forward advancing launcher move, which I suspect might be a unique second launcher for Pekora, aside from the usual 2H. We'll be seeing this move used more later in the trailer, but besides that, the EX Pekora laugh projectiles might be short ranged, or they travel slowly across the screen when used, similar to maybe like Sora's EX note projectile. Can't say for sure since Suicide walks right into them upon taking off the ground. After Korina Ritsu and Truck Kunrisu beat up Pekara and Isakai are elsewhere, we are introduced to a brand new stage, Marin's Pirate Ship, featuring of course Marin herself and Aqua on a barrel, enjoying the ocean breeze. We also get a different variation of the stage where Ina and her tentacles are running rampant, leaving the ship in a wrecked state. I do wonder, however, if it is song specific, sort of like how the Nisagi appear as the performers when you select Pekara's song in Aki's bar instead of Aki, or if you can select between the variations regardless of song. But nonetheless, a new stage is always great to see, and the numerous references that are waiting to be found on this ship. Switching back gears, we briefly see Pekara doing a rapid punch attack, similar to the EX in the first combo before calling Marin Assist in to attack Coco. We then see Pekara's running animation as she runs against Kanata's waves before she jumps and performs what looks to be a jumping light attack, which looks to have good reach. Afterwards, we see another air combo that may play out like this, with the same advancing launcher from earlier as the starter of the combo, before we see the rocket launcher blast again as the ender, but for a few extra frames, we see it float Pekara upwards on hit. This alone may have some interesting corner carry potential. Side note, I don't feel 100% confident on the input for the air rocket blast, because all JHs across the current cast have a downward arc to their attack. Yes, Pekara also has that with this downward carrot slam attack, but she immediately chains it into air rocket without a special cancel. Which doesn't make sense because unless she's a reverse B character, which I assume she is not, she can't be chaining JH into JM. I'm left at a loss here. Anyways, moving on, we then see two setups happening in one combo, along with a new assist, that being the GeoGuessr Master, Aski. The combo is something like this, maybe, with Aski assist locking Aki in place with her GeoGuessr marker, while Pekara sets up an EX delayed rocket projectile before running in to set up Bomoki, making this an expensive but scary setup. As for whether it will be worth the cost of both star and collab gauge, we'll just have to see when she comes out later in the week. Next up, we have yet another air combo, with the ender being yet another new assist, that being Muna. Best guess for this combo is this, essentially combining parts from previous combos together. 
a damn fleshy combo for sure. While Muno Assist is still active, it looks like Pekoras tries to attack Suise, but it seems to whiff entirely, which might imply that when Muno lands her attack, the opponent is locked in its entire animation before you can hit the opponent again. Our final two Pekora combos are nice and simple, with the first one looking something like this, with AX multi-punch that launches at the end, which allows for standing medium and what looks to be Pekora sweep for hard knockdown. The other combo is simply this, with Pekora cancelling into her super immediately after standing light, taking a hero's pose while facing away from the explosions that surround her. I like to think that there may be more to this super and the video cuts away just before the big impact attack, but that's probably not the case. But we will see very soon. Pekara is aiming to be a setup character, similar to Sora, who is also a setup character, as a good majority of the trailer is dedicated to a strong Oki game plan, with numerous ways of achieving that, from a simple sweep into a bomb, or assist call into delayed projectile, to explosive laughter in your face after launcher. Not only that, she seems to have some long combos with impressive corner carry potential, and that's pretty scary, because her corner game is probably even scarier to fight against. I don't necessarily see any downsides to her kit, at least from this trailer alone, but there's bound to be some effective counters that players will find in the coming days. Not to mention that Pekara might be an input heavy character if her combos and setups are of any indication. In any case, I personally can't wait to find out. And that's another character debut trailer breakdown for Idol Showdown. For sure I'm gonna do this again for the next two upcoming characters when their trailers are eventually released, cause it's fun to speculate and see how close our guesses are, and trying to understand the thought process of how a character's kit is developed. As for the next two talents, who knows who they might be? Wasn't really a hint or anything in this debut trailer to my knowledge, still crossing my fingers for a Hollowax member, or even an Ian member either from Myth or Council, or heck, even Advent, who just recently debuted. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this character debut trailer breakdown. With that said, my name is Red Maze and I'm glad I got your attention. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.